uh, Rohan Patel comic book movie. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Doing well, how about you? Doing well, thank you. Uh, so the movie's great. So I just wanted to get out started, like, because you guys play two clear cut bad guys, you know? So like, was it a little more freeing as performers to uh, play these roles or was it, because, you know, good guys generally have like this moral code. So what was that kind of like as performers? I actually, I, I don't know, Danny, but I approached mine as the hero. I feel like I was like, Lars in his head was the hero of the, sh of the movie. And I, I, that was like, you know, I feel like it's boring to watch bad guys be bad and like, hey, ha, ha, I like to, you know, I, I like to, I think it's more interesting if people do bad things and think they're doing the right thing. I think that feels more um, truthful to our world. And, and so I, I approach it that way and then let the circumstances of what happened, um, let the audience judge it instead of myself as an actor. So I, I guess I guess I approached it as the hero. Danny? Yeah, I um, I didn't necessarily uh, approach it as a hero, but I think my, my I think what, that's what makes, I think, Lars in it also. There's so much heartbreak throughout when I mean, a little bit of the reality of the situation comes to light. Uh, but I I tried to think of um, of Darby's journey outside of creating my own character, like uh, of Ash, I was trying to, without giving any spoilers, try to see based on Darby's journey, kind of what are some of the things that would um, create the most friction in some capacity and make it like the most volatile space in in the story. Um, mm -hmm. But that was kind of my my way into to playing that because I think yeah, playing the 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 villain that twists his mustache. I think there's um, that's been done really well before and also just been overdone as well. So I think there's something about like adding that nuance that I think every character and, and uh, every actor brought to to the table. Yeah, absolutely. And so like for, for Danny, like, because you're playing, you guys have these two clear cut different kinds of characters, but I would say yours is a little more edgy or a little more like psychotic on some level. Um, sorry about the spoilers, but yeah, like, I mean, we're going to go into spoilers, but, um, so like, did you look to any other kind of performance? Cause I got this real, like, De Niro, like, Cape Fear kind of vibe. So like, were you looking for any specific performance? Well, there's, of there's quite a bit of them, but, um, I guess I, I don't want to necessarily stamp the inspiration that, that it's been drawn from, but I think more, most importantly, I think what makes him in your usage of, of the verbiage of psychotic, which is something that I, 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 I try to like. I think I wanted the desperation levels to just crank up like unbelievably in what he was processing and how he was going about it and what his, um, at the end of the day, what his goal was in, in what they were doing. And just as that, that heat gets cranked up, you really like, then like your, your back is against the wall. And it's like, what do you then do at that situation? And, and Ash as a character happens to possess toxic traits that, um, that, parlay into a space in the very unsettling and very um brash way yeah so and then so david so like there's an implication like like i think i don't remember near the end but it's like it didn't seem like lars really knew what they were doing with this girl like they mm -hmm. you know she like they think they're getting to a better place so how did you kind of approach that like mindset or like getting into that like headspace it's like we're not like you said before like that you looked at it and said like good guy yeah, so much of it is this backstory that 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 was the biggest challenge for me to come into the script of like how to make all of my actions make sense. And I think understanding who I don't this Uncle Kenny is like is which uh, my character knows. Uh, I, I'm trying not to like <laughs> it's uh, spoilers, but like yeah. that there's this um, sense of I wanted it to be. I wanted it to, to uh, for my character, I think a lot of it comes from trauma. Like the idea that uh, he, I've come from a place where I've been the kid locked in a van. And, you know, you come to a place that you feel um, what you're doing is all you know. And I think, uh, and, and, and you, and that, so I think, I remember reading the script and I was like, do I, does I, do I really believe that? And for me and Damien's like, you do believe that. And that was a huge moment in, I'm like, all right, if I believe that, then the character has to be this kind of way. And so then I had to like create that backstory that, that justified that line. And for me, a lot of it was, that's where the physicality started coming from a lot of the, um, cause I think the trauma is in my body. 
You know, it's like the way I talk, the way I, I disguise myself is a is safety mechanisms the way. And I think, so that's that line actually you, they pointed out, it was a big moment in for me into, into the character. And so like, I believe you filmed in New Zealand, right? Yeah. And um, so like what, like, because this film, like in the middle of, I think last summer um, or like spring, but so what proved to be like ultimately the most challenging being in the middle of the pandemic of first off. And then it's like, and these are quite physical roles that you have to like navigate all this physicality. So what proved to be like the biggest yeah. challenge in that regard? I actually think New Zealand was a, uh, was a big help in, we were so blessed to be able to shoot a movie there during the pandemic that there was no coronavirus cases or like maybe one while the time we were there. So it was something that we had just been, I, I'd been, uh, the whole world had been swarmed with um, how they were handling COVID. So then to kind of be released from that, it was a different ball that we didn't have to juggle while having to perform. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest blessings of, of being in New Zealand at that time. And then within that, um, the art department helped so much, so much of the, the difference of the setting, which was, it was in New Zealand that we were shooting outdoors, but it was inside a studio and the whole thing was a set. So even that um, just opened up like an artistic playground to just really send it. And it allowed us to leave the characters there. Uh, mm -hmm. I think because we could leave and we were free in this New Zealand kind of paradise of no COVID and everyone's so friendly in New Zealand. And then you come back and you're stuck in this, in this uh, snow globe. And, and I think that is what helped us too, is like this, you could go that hard because you weren't bringing it home with you. You know, you could, you leave the, the snow globe and you're in back in some exact, you're back in, uh, in spring and news or I guess fall in New Zealand. Um, yeah. saying so that, that helped us, you know, go that hard in a way. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. I would never have imagined that was a, a set, but, um, so like, since you guys all have to be pretty distrustful of one another at the beginning of the movie, did you guys spend much time like developing a cast chemistry or was it like show up on set and kind of like feel each other out? Oh, well, I, David was leaving the reservations for every place we ate. So it was, uh, we reached out uh, via FaceTime while we were in quarantine and got to know each other that way. And then by the time we were out, it was, we didn't know any, anybody in New Zealand. So we were going out to eat with, and then going out on excursions to check out different places in New Zealand. Um, so I think the chemistry is actually what made so much of the difficult stuff easier because you knew that like, if you're going to throw it down, it's, you'd rather be with friends and people you trust than to like try to put yourself out there in a space that you feel it wouldn't be receptive. Like, thank God it wasn't that. Yeah. Um, but I think we definitely developed some chemistry that like made us all feel held in our most intense moments. Yeah. As actors, you know, we're, we're the weird, we like to go to those really extreme places. Like, so like there was a lot of joy in going there, especially cause we trusted each other and there, and I knew that Danny would have my back and I would have his, and and um all of the cast and so like those chem for me that's important if you're gonna do something that dark you need to have mm. kind of a relationship to to hold each other's space to go that far awesome well thank you so much guys i really appreciate this and uh can't wait for top gun daniel but uh oh, thank you guys for sure all right no, this is great don't thank spoil, you don't spoil too much don't spoil too much i won't, I won't. i've got <laughs> you guys all right thank you